What is up, Nephilim? This is the Chig coming at you with the last Necro Guide I'm going to be doing for Season 28. And this is the Skeletal Mage LOD build. This is the T16 version because I refuse to play this in Greater Rifts because I don't like getting sneezed at and dying. But the T16 version is really good for farming keys if you have the patience to put it together. As you can see, I don't have very good gear. I'm at 13,000 dex, which means nothing's augged, nothing's strong, and I even have one item that's not even ancient. So um, before we get started, though, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, anything you can do to help out the channel for free. And don't forget that we're doing a giveaway. As soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away a copy of D4 or a video game of your choice if you've already pre-purchased it. Anyway, let's hop right into it. Oh, um... Before we get started, in order to enter, you have to be a subscriber of the channel. You have to like and comment on one of the videos that it is mentioned in. And each video that you like and comment on will be an entry into the competition. Okay, let's get right into it. Razas Volition. Skeletal Mage gains the effect of the Gift of Death and Singularity runes. You gain 50% damage reduction if your essence is not full. Unfortunately, our essence is always full. We're just spamming the button. It's fine. Leoric's Crown, increase the effect of any gem socket in this gem by 100%. This effect does not apply to legendary gems. 12.5% uh, cooldown, because we want Land of the Dead up as much as possible. Haunted Visions, to make sure we have our Reservoir up at all times. We're using Simulacrum Reservoir, so we can make our Scythe of the Cycle give us more DPS. Reaper's Wraps, we are just getting Health Globes to give us resource. That is all this is for. We are spamming all we can. You'll see what I mean. We are just dropping mages like mad. Requiem Seraplate. Devour restores an additional 84% essence and life. In addition, whenever Devour restores essence and life above your maximum, it is granted over 3 seconds. So basically, we're going to be at full essence all the time spamming the button. Tasker and Theo. Attack speed of your pets by 42%. No brainer. We need that. Crispin Sentence. You deal extra damage against slowed enemies or triple that if they're stunned. We have a we don't have a stun on this build um, other than Land of the Dead, so they will be stunned as long as Land of the Dead is up and they will be getting deleted. It won't even matter. Blackthorn's Jousting Mail. This is because it has elemental damage on it. It is not even the right element because I don't want to keep re-rolling it for switching back and forth. Stone of Jordan, each of your elemental damage bonuses is equal to your highest. I have two pieces with cold, so that's what we're doing. And it also gives you damage against elites, so that's really, really good. Scythe of the Cycle, your secondary skills deal 386 damage um, while Bone Armor is active, but reduces the remaining duration of Bone Armor by 4 seconds. So we're going to be keeping Bone Armor up at all times, um, because it's going to be giving us extra DPS. We have the Steward's Greaves, which give us 89% increased movement speed for 10 seconds after using Blood Rush. We're going to be darting around like mad. This build is super fast. We have Gold Wrap to give us gold when we pick up stuff, um, to give us armor when we pick up gold. Um, we aren't currently using any, um, we don't have Boon of the Hoarder in. I will put that in before we start running, though. Um, and then we have Lost Time. Cold skills make us run faster. Um, we have cooldown gem in the hat, int gems in the gear, LOD gem in the necklace, enforcer to give us increased damage on our pets, LOD increases our damage because we don't have any set items, or any set bonuses, Bane of the Trapped, we're actually going to drop for Boon of the Hoarder, so let's do that real quick. Alright, so Bane of the Trapped has been dropped for Boon of the Hoarder. Um, I don't have an average ban on my follower, but it really doesn't matter. This is obscene. Okay, so Simulacrum's out. Let's do this rift. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to teleport in. Oh my gosh, we got the worst map we could possibly get. Okay, cool. So, we're just going to keep stacking up as much as we can because the density on this map always sucks so uh yeah we are gonna be hurting shortly for resource because land of the dead is not gonna have 100 percent uptime on this map which is unfortunate so take that as you will um there we go land of the dead is back up so we want to keep our stacks up keep our dudes up keep our dudes up there we go. There we go. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. See, you absolutely delete T16 with this. That was weird. I got stuck on the wall. Ah, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, you delete T16 with this build. It's it's insanely good for speed farming stuff, especially when you can get enough uh, gold to actually have a uh, um, armor. So it kind of sucks that we got a bad map, but it's just going to show you that we can still function even with a bad map. Um, so that's you know something to consider. Um, could definitely be better. Could definitely be way better. Um, also keep in mind we are not using dislocation, so we are not getting stuns with our bone armor. Um, I'm just using it to keep it up for the DPS buff. Um, oh my goodness, this map. Okay, this is actually a decent map, so this might actually work out for us. Um, where is that gobbo? Where's that gobbo? <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so yeah, that is the 216 version of LOD Mages. When you get a map like this, is when it's the best because you can literally just run around and drop your stuff, and it's it's good, right? But when you get crappy maps that are hallways and stuff like. Those are the ones that make this build kind of mediocre. Um, but for the most part, you know, we got... We got it going, right? Um, I kind of want to clear the rest of this map, so bear with me just a moment. Alright. So yeah, that's uh, the T16 version of LOD Mages. It's not the best build to do T16s with, but... If you've got the patience to put it together, it's fun enough. It's good enough. Um, anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget the giveaway, and uh, go get those legendaries, guys.